President Biden has claimed he's never talked to his son Hunter about his overseas business dealings. However, a leaked voicemail from the president tells a different story. Listen to this. Hey, pal, it's dad. It's 8.15 um, on uh, Wednesday night. If you get a chance, give me a call. Not, nothing urgent. Just want to talk to you. I thought the article, at least the thing on online, is going to be printed tomorrow in the Times, was good. I think you're clear. Sounds like a business conversation to me. And the White House is refusing to comment on the president's son. Roll that tape. Roll it. He says, I think you're clear. How is that not him talking to his son about his overseas business dealings? We're not from this podium. I am not going to talk about alleged materials from the laptop. Miranda Devine is with us now. She's been following this story since the very beginning of it all. Question, has the president been caught in a lie? Hi, Stuart, and happy birthday. Look, I think it's pretty obvious that uh, Joe Biden has not told the truth to the American people when he's insisted that he knew nothing about his son Hunter's overseas business dealings. And here's the latest piece of evidence. You heard it in his own voice. He's expressing relief to Hunter that a New York Times article that had just come out uh, about their Chinese business partners barely mentioned him. So uh, that, at least, at the very least, shows you that Joe Biden is well aware of who the Chinese business partners are and how dangerous it would be if that news ever became public. It, so uh, it, that's one thing. Well, look, it's, it's important because this is a very important issue. Has, do the Chinese exactly. have something on Joe Biden? He is the president of the United States. He's negotiating actively with our rival, China. Have they got something on him through Hunter Biden? Do you think they have? Well, that is exactly the question, because, uh, it, you know, it's, it's not enough just to say, oh, well, you know, did the president lie? And for Corinne Jean-Pierre to stonewall and ignore that question, that is unsustainable for the White House, because really... This story begs the much more important and more current question, which is, is the president compromised? And you can only look at all the gifts that he's been giving China since he became president. Most recently, uh, oil from the Strategic Oil Reserve sent to China. Uh, the, the sort of leniency now and unwinding various Trump era, Trump administration uh, measures such as, you know, cracking down on TikTok, uh, things like the um, program to stop, uh, you know, Americans from buying into, or, or sorry, Chinese from buying into American military uh, technology, and a whole suite of measures that the Trump administration took to safeguard America. And all of those are being unwind quietly by the Biden administration. Why is that? Yeah. What is the quid pro quo? It doesn't seem that we're actually getting anything for it. But what the Bidens already got was millions of dollars from China. Keep digging, please, Miranda, because there's surely something there and we should know about it. Miranda Devine, thanks for joining us. See you again later. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Stuart.